17. I mean, I meant to make this video closer to New Year's Day, but I've been busy. Go ahead and just get into my list here. So number five is to travel. It's going to be a recurring goal every year. Next month uh, will be my birthday in February. So I'm planning to go to a month long yoga retreat and Spanish language immersion in Colombia, South America. And then after that, I'm going to hike and explore Peru for two weeks. If I could go anywhere in the world, my top three countries right now that I want to visit are Iceland, uh, New Zealand, and Bhutan. So I would love to do a road trip out west in Los Angeles, working my way up through San Francisco, like Portland and Seattle, and all the way up into Vancouver. I have a lot of friends and family out there. And I know it's a lot, but also a Vipassana. And if you're not familiar, a Vipassana is a 10 day silence meditation retreat. So you can't talk for 10 days. I don't know if that'll actually happen, but eventually um, I would like to do that. Number four, I want to learn Spanish this year. Partially why I'm going to South America. I've always wanted to be bilingual. I took some Spanish in high school, but it really wasn't a priority for me and it wasn't a priority in the U.S. at all to learn another language when I was in school. For three, my goals for next year are to grow my business. Uh, this includes this YouTube channel. I want to make at least one video per week. I want to continue teaching yoga and doing creative consulting, which um, entails anything from uh, design to marketing. I'm even planning to write a few grants this year. For two, <gasps> oh, sorry, I get hiccups a lot. For two. So I'm working towards zero waste and minimalism this year. I'm really making a conscious effort to be mindful of everything that I own and everything that I consume. First, I just wanted to be like, okay, January 1st, boom, I'm, you know, 100% zero waste and this and that. That's like setting yourself up for failure. If you try to set a resolution on January 1st and just immediately change everything at once, like it doesn't work that way. You kind of have to do it in steps and work up to it. So by the end of the year, I would like to have made noticeable progression and I plan to make other videos on that. Uh, zero waste and minimalism. I forgot what number one was. What was my number one goal for 2017? And so my number one goal for 2017 is to write a book. Um, I have no idea when it'll be published or how. I've learned and, um, you know, writing sometimes is kind of cathartic for me. So I'd like to get everything out on paper and really kind of, um, I think it'll help to figure some things out and hopefully, you know, help other people too if they are interested. And Miranda, I'm going to be checking in with you at the end of the year in December and see how you've progressed with these goals. So yay, I'm looking forward to it.